Hi everyone. If you have just updated your CapCut for PC to the latest version and suddenly find out that you can no longer export your video without CapCut Watermark for free, as shown here in the export dialog, then you should consider going back to the previous version. This would be a perfectly fine solution, especially if you don't really use or need the features that are only available in the latest version. Based on my own finding, CapCut version 6.1 or lower still allows you to export the video without CapCut Watermark for free. To go back to the previous version, you may not need to do any reinstallation. All the previous versions you ever installed on your PC are still there in the CapCut installation directory and can be launched right away. But if your current version is the only version ever installed on your PC, then you should uninstall it first and then install the previous version. You can grab the previous version's official installers from this GitHub page, which you can open by clicking the link on this video's description. All right, so to run the previous version that's already on your PC, you will need to open the CapCut's installation directory. To open the CapCut installation directory, you can do one of the following set of instructions. If you have a CapCut shortcut on your desktop or taskbar, right-click the shortcut and then click Properties. On the Shortcuts Properties window, click Open File Location. Then on the File Explorer, click Apps on the address bar and you should see all the versions of CapCut installed on your PC. Or if you don't have any CapCut shortcut, open CapCut Settings from CapCut's home window and then click the folder button to the right of the preset save path. Click on the empty area of the address bar and then copy the full path. Now open the file explorer, paste the copied path onto the address bar, and then press enter on the keyboard. Click CapCut on the address bar and then click apps on the file explorer's window and you should get to the same CapCut apps folder. Now before you run the previous version, first close CapCut if it's still open. Then open the folder of the version you wish to run. For example, let me open version 5.6.0. Then press C on the keyboard to find the CapCut application file, and then simply double click the file to launch CapCut. So here it is, CapCut 5.6.0. All your projects, including those created with the newer versions, will be shown on the home window. But there's just one little problem that needs to be fixed. If you try to open a project created with a newer version, you will get this message. So click cancel, because we're going to fix this issue by modifying the project's draft content JSON file. To do that, First, create a new empty project with this version, and let's name it ABC for easy identification. Now go back to the home window and open the CapCut settings. On the settings window, under draft, click the save to folder button. Click on the empty area on the address bar, and then copy the path. Now open your file explorer, paste the copied path onto the address bar, and then press enter on the keyboard. You should see the project folders of all CapCut projects you ever created. Now open the project folder of the new empty project you created earlier, which for my case is the ABC project. Then look for the draft content.json file and then open it with notepad. On the notepad window, click edit and then find. Type new underscore version and then press enter. Copy this version number as we will use it to downgrade all projects of higher version. That is those created with CapCut newer than 5.6.0. Now close this JSON file and then go back to the file explorer. Go back to the CapCut Drafts directory and open the folder of the project you want to downgrade. For example, for my case here, let me just open the King Project folder, which I showed you earlier. Now open the draft content.json file with Notepad. Click Edit and then Replace. Type new underscore version and then press Enter. Now we're going to replace all occurrences of this version number with the one we copied earlier from the new empty project. So type this version number on the search key field and then paste the older version number we copied earlier onto the replace field, and then click replace all. Now clear the replace field first, and then find app underscore version. We are going to replace this CapCut version number with an older version we had chosen earlier. For this example, I'm going to replace it with 5.6.0. So I type 6.2.0 on the search key field, and 5.6.0 on the replace field, and then click replace all. Close the replace dialog, and save this JSON file. Now go back to CapCut, and you should be able to open the downgraded project. And now we should also be able to export it without CapCut watermark for free as before. All right, so that's how easy it is to go back to a previous version of CapCut and downgrade a project of newer version. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.